basically just started playing with knives at the age of 13, taking apart old knives, trying to put handles on them, trying to make fixed blades out of old files, and it just evolved from there. Uh, everything was very crude, just whatever I could imagine. And one day I found some books at the public library on how to make knives, and that's when it really, really sparked an interest in me. And it just kind of evolved from there. So that's how I started into making knives. I did is an old kitchen knife that I made to look like a Bowie knife and then I made a handle and I carved like an eagle head in the back and I still remember I painted the whole thing red so it was red from the back all the way to the front it was just a red knife so this was my hobby well I'll go back I started at around the age of 13 playing with trying to make knives they were more like shanks <laughs> and then I kind of left it for a bit and then one day at work I saw a guy that had a custom knife and they showed it to me and I was like wow where'd you get it I said well such and such showed me how to make it so I went to the guy and it happened that he was like three blocks from my house I didn't even know so he said like come watch me and I'll, I'll show you what I do so I started doing that and it was just a hobby and then um, I met Bill Ruppel and he's the one that really took me to the next level and really helped me out and so at that point it was still a hobby but in 2008 I got laid off from my job which was a good full field job and so I turned my hobby into a job I tried it and uh, it really worked out you know it was hard at first real hard but I could see the light at the end of the tunnel and it just became my my job you know so now I don't call it a hobby I just call it a really enjoyable job I first start with what I like what I see in other knives you know I'm always looking like on Instagram Facebook trying to follow the trends to some degree my background is in the traditional knives so I try to bring some of that into the more modern knives because now I'm into building modern knives and so I try to blend those two uh, I'll start by designing stuff on AutoCAD from there I'll print it on paper or have it water jet cut or just, just go from there and then I start machining all the different parts fitting them by hand and grinding the blades and then finally like putting it all together and the best way I can describe it is like a cabinet maker that makes cabinets. You know, you go, you buy the wood, you start removing, putting things together, and then you create it. It's not like forging stuff where you pound it to shape. This is more like removing to come and, and have a certain specific shape on every single part. Again, fitting them, putting them together, and making them into something called a knife. So what do I want others to see in my knives, customers, is somewhat of a traditional inspired knife, uh, pocket knives mainly. Uh, I always try to focus on the fit and finish, the grinds. Uh, you can see some of the, I guess, traditional elements in here, like I have a choil, bolsters, uh, you know, I, I like to do satin finish, swedges, and so the main thing I want people to see in my knives is my inspiration, my, my love for the traditional knives, although these are more modern knives, but somehow you can see that they look somewhat traditional around the edges.
So I always get asked, so where can I get your knives? Well, if I make them by hand, then they're limited. It's hard to make a ton of them. But where you can find them is usually with dealers and also at shows. I can also be reached through Instagram, Facebook, uh, and that's how you can get one of my knives. One of the things that I'd like to start doing a little bit more of is slip joints as far as uh, production slip joints. Come out with some new cool designs and, and do some of that in the coming future. So for others that want to try this as a hobby or as a career, I feel like this is something that's very doable. It's growing really, really fast. The whole community as a whole is very welcoming and uh, I would encourage anybody that wants to do it to do it. It's a really nice, clean hobby uh, and you can take it anywhere you want. The sky's the limit. Uh, so I highly encourage anybody that feels like they have the knack and the ability to do it, to do it also. Other makers are very willing to help, and we all start somewhere, so don't be discouraged to try it.